All right, what is going on everyone? It is I again. Uh, I don't know why I say again. Um, it's mainly because I have another I have another channel and it's uh, mainly like gaming clips and stuff like that. But anyways, so if you don't follow me on TikTok or you haven't come here from my TikTok because I haven't really uh, done a whole lot on it. Um, I got my hot going again. Ooh. Trying to get off the road a little bit. Want to check out a little spot over here. This gravel is really fucking loose too. It's scary. Oh, okay. That's just where the pipe goes. Um, but anyways. So... I got a Hawk 250 um, just about a year ago, and it's been it's been pretty great. I've tried messing around with it, done like normal uh, normal mods for it. So the uh, the uh, carburetor tried the uh, Nibby carburetor. I didn't like it. I felt like I was losing power. Um, or I did end up losing power. I like went home and I did something to it and um, Yeah, it just fucking sucked all the power out of it Yo, hey, yo, do you see that? <laughs> yeah, sucked all the power out of it it felt like so um, I went back to the, the old one. What is this? What the fuck? It's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, you're gonna find a lot of nothing out here. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I tried the newbie carb. It didn't quite work out for me. Wasn't wasn't really my uh cup of tea. But I uh, something I did something to it and I fucked it up. It was it was nice. So it, it is definitely worth the upgrade. Um But uh, I ended up fucking it up. Come on, bitch, go, go. Um, took the baffle out of my exhaust. I tried the JFG racing exhaust. Uh, worked pretty good for a little while. It did. Um, again, oh no, I posted a TikTok on it, but uh, I fucking ate shit and I broke the bracket to it and I said, you know what? Fuck it, I'm good. We're just gonna run the stock one again so I have tried modding it and I always fucked it up um, I think I was messing with the jets or something oh, that's nice. this is pretty cool it's pretty nice nice little little trail here Oh, dude, hell yeah, the fucking, the couch, dude? <laughs> oh, 
I'm gonna hit a very abrupt stop. I already know it. Or I might just go all the way through, who knows? We uh, seem to be stuck. We seem to be very, very stuck. Well, shit. This is not how I wanted to start this video. <laughs> oh shit, that was fun. I don't know if first, first uh, gear should have been what I was in, but um, seemed to have worked. Oh, I should have jumped over that. Oh, what did I tell you? Oh no, that keeps going. Damn it, I turned too early. I didn't trust myself. We got her out, and with them we kill her. No, that's a fucking... <sighs> Woo, this hawk, dude, I'm telling you. This hawk is a lot of fun. Ooh! Ooh, that's pokey! That's pokey! Ow! I 
I know things happen at low speeds. That's where uh, a lot of the accidents happen. But man, I can't, I can't haul ass through stuff like this. Ah, shit. This again. Oh, fucking. I don't know if that was the best way to go through that, but holy shit, we got through it. I was in second gear for that one, and I did not feel good about that. I feel like I should have put it down into first. But I think second gives you more torque or something like that. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm really, uh, I came out here because I've been watching a lot of videos. I want to get into, you know, more advanced uh, you know, uh, I guess, uh, trails. Not really more advanced trails, but just in general, I want to hit some trails and I want to get better at my clutch control, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. We're just out here, uh, this is actually uh, a range road, so a bunch of our ranges, um, if I didn't mention I am in the military, I'm stationed, uh, or I'm active duty, so I'm stationed at a base here in uh, Louisiana. This is where we go to do a lot of training, ooh, nice open field. Yeah, this is where we do a lot of our training at. And, uh, yeah. I like to come out here and, uh, piddle around with the area. On my little old hawk. If you, haven't, if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff out here to be, uh, you know, enjoying. Oh my god, no, that's too deep, dude. I can't do that. I would have to walk if I break down. So, I came out here for the trails. Well, I mean, I'm not going to walk all the way home, but well, that one looks pretty fun. I would have my wife come pick me up, but but yeah, I've never actually been out this way, so this is all brand new to me, so I'm taking it pretty slow. I've been out here to train, but I've never been out here like casually. Two different things. Usually I'm like 100 meters in the woods, 200 meters, you know, wherever. Just lost in the sauce doing some training. Um, yeah. This is a. Uh, ooh. That was nice and refreshing. Ah. I gotta remember whenever I get stuck in those like wheel wells, I'm like basic, I'm almost committed, especially whenever they're muddy. I'm in third gear, what the fuck? I didn't like that. I knew that felt off. This is 
actually a really, really nice trail. I know where we're at now. Came through here with, uh, with a buddy of mine. Let's go off the beaten track just a little bit. Yeah, not really a whole lot back here. Good thing I have my damn leg out. Holy shit, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, some of these look like trails, but they're really not. Uh. Oh, look at that, the main road. Chill out over here in the shade real quick. I'm gonna move some things around. All right, so I moved my mic around. Um, it was somewhere I did not like it. like there was a lot of debris over here we've been having some pretty uh pretty bad weather here the past couple of days actually fucking whole week but i mean that's louisiana okay see this this one's still saying it's closed so 
I don't think I think the storm took out the other sign holy shit That's nice and comfy. Holy crap. And washed out. Uh, I don't trust that. <laughs> Yep, Bruce Lee was right. Water. Be water. Damn, if I was like stupid confident in that thing, this would be really fun to go over. Just fucking right down through here and then straight over and I, I can already kind of see a line that I would take, but fuck. I don't trust that bike that much to be doing stuff like that. And I don't trust myself. I'm not... I'm, not a very good enduro rider or nothing like that. I think we did land nav out here one time. Something. Geez, if I could just find neutral. Yeah, we're gonna put this back up. I don't know if it's gonna help all that much, but hopefully nobody just rolls through here <clears throat> yeah. all right there we go hopefully that'll save somebody from uh, rolling through man our army should pay me more for this shit man taking care of their grounds honestly if I could ride this thing around all day I do range control. If you don't know, then uh, uh, all range control does is go around in their fucking nice government trucks. You know, civilian trucks, but they're paid for and gassed by the government for the base that they work for. they basically make uh, make sure we clean up after ourselves you know all right so I fucked up I've got uh, no other recording except for me entering the base um, I guess I thought it was recording still so I pressed the button apparently it wasn't so all I did was I drove out um, I ended up hitting a main road and I turned around to go to the store because um, yeah, I didn't find really anything worth hitting, but I also went the wrong way and wasted a little bit of time doing that. Um, I don't get a ride often, and whenever I do, it's only for like an hour or two. 
So that's why these videos are kind of, sh you know, short. I go hit some trails and I just get dirty and I come back home. Um, tomorrow I'm going to go hit a trail in um, Kasachi, uh, Kasachi Forest or something like that. It's a sandstone trail here in Louisiana. A lot of people have... Uh, you know, there's a lot of videos on it. It looks like a lot of fun, and I would like to go hit it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that video whenever I get all the footage. Um, I've got like 400-something gigs to fill up and three three batteries. So as soon as the batteries are dead, that's probably going to be the end of it. Hopefully I can go all the way through it within those three batteries. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm only concerned about the drive out there. It's about 40 miles and it's mostly highway, somewhat highway, but it's going to be upwards of like 65 miles per hour. I don't trust the Healy coil kit mainly because I've never used it personally, but, um, we're going to see how it goes. If it ends up blowing up, so be it. I'll just have to figure out a way to get it back. Maybe I'll just have my wife pull me the rest of the way. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll figure it out, but I'm pretty excited for that. Um, kind of nervous. My first actual trail, I've looked at some videos and it looks like so much fun. Um, I'm really ready to, uh, you know, go out and test, test myself a little bit more. All I've got is mush and swamps here, which is fun. Don't get me wrong, but that's, uh, there's going to be a little bit more technical stuff, I think there. So it's going to be a little bit more fun to uh, put myself into positions where I'm not really comfortable, like hopping over logs or little logs or whatever it may be, um, going up higher and longer, like, hills. You know, I don't think they're too crazy. All the videos I saw, they weren't too crazy. But like I said, it's going to be fun just to put myself in a position to where I get uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, hopefully you enjoy the video, and we'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace.